Hey VC, it's uh, Jonathan, your cheap and cheerful record collector. A uh, little different venue today, we're actually in my garage, because I just came back from uh, a trip down to the Boston area, where a friend of mine uh, was moving and decided he wanted to get rid of all his records. So he laid on me six boxes of records for free. And you know my motto, if it's free, it's for me. So let me show you. You can see there's six boxes of records. Uh, I went through them, found a couple of gems, and uh, a lot of stuff I'm not really sure about. So uh, let's get a go at it and let's show you what we found. First up is the Springsteen Live 5 record set with the booklet in really good condition. The gem of everything, the one I'm really crazy about, and I can't believe I found this, is Tom Waits, Frank's Wild Years, original gatefold in really nice conditions that was really good um lou reed rock and roll animal also original gatefold elvis costello king of america that was nice find with the original inner sleeve um this one is pretty rare, never saw it before. Jimi Hendrix and Lonnie Youngblood together. Two great experiences together. And this is all on um, yeah, all Platinum Record Company, Palisades, Englewood, New Jersey. Also available on 8-track cassette exclusively by Ampex. So that's sort of cool on Maple Records. And that was in really good condition. I like that a lot. Want to see what that sounds like. Um, soundtrack for the film, the song remains the same. Led Zeppelin. Gatefold. With all the booklet inside. And... So I don't know if this is original yet. I haven't a chance to check it on Discogs, but that was a really great find. Uh, David Byrne. The Catherine Wheel. This is a compilation called Don't You Step on My Blue Suede Shoes. This is uh, Sun, Rec Sun Recordings, uh, Jerry Lee Lewis, Carl Perkins, Johnny Cash, Charlie Rich, uh, Roy Orbison. That's got to be great. A uh, couple of ones, these I don't know. I just grabbed them because they looked interesting. Um, got a lot of stuff in here though. Oh my God. But uh, six boxes full, so. I think I'm gonna go. It's gonna take me days to go through all this stuff. A lot of Doobie Brothers. Oh, this Cosmos Factory. Gotta love that. CCR. Uh, the Dead Milkmen. Bucky Fellini. Haven't checked this out yet. Just I'm, I'm still in the garage. I just came back, and just going through them. Joe Ely, Lord of the Highway. Love Joe Ely, so I'm sure this is gonna be great. Um, Dead Kennedys. What else did I find that I thought was interesting? Oh, John Mayall, Jazz Blues Fusion, with Larry Taylor, formerly of uh, Can't Heat. And a couple of Zydeco albums. Let me see what else I can pull out here really quick and see what we got that's interesting. I saw... Now, of course, you always get Fleetwood Mac. The Doors. Oh, this, I never saw this one before. The Best of the Monkeys, Best of the Original Monkeys. Then and Now, Best of the Monkeys. Gatefold. So, there are a lot of monkey fans out there. So, that was sort of cool to grab. Um, uh, Eric Clapton. Of course, Foghat. Randy Newman. Journey. Cat Stevens, who cares? Oh, here. This I like. This is cool. Buddy Holly. Legend. Two record set from the original master tapes. Great, inter great uh, gatefold. So that's really cool. Looking for that. Looking forward to listening to that. So I'll get to other stuff and I'll show you what else I found as we go through. 
Um, here's another one I've never saw before, something called Zig Zag Festival. It's a compilation from Mercury Records. Uh, Mercury Records, yeah, stereo. And it has Blue Cheer, uh, Mother Earth, Screaming Jay Hawkins, David Bowie, uh, Big Mama Thornton, Sir Douglas Quintet, Steve Miller, uh, Mickey Newberry, the Youngbloods, Jerry Lee Lewis. So that was sort of cool on uh, the Red Mercury label. So looking forward to cleaning that up and seeing what that sounds like. That's a nice compilation. There are a couple of interesting comp compilations I saw in here. Um, I don't know the, the Dell Lords. Don't know them, but they look like they're rock and roll, so that always looks good to me. Johnny Comes Marching Home, it's called. Um, Graham Parker. The Real McCaw, which is a great album. I already have this, so this will go into my trade pile. I'm probably going to keep maybe 10% of these, I figure, and the rest are going to go. I'll trade in for other stuff. A tribute to Ricky Nelson. Um... So that looks interesting. I don't know who's on here. It doesn't really tell me. But we'll see. I, wonder if it's, I don't know if it's Ricky singing or uh, other people singing uh, his stuff. And that's just one out oh, here. Frank Zappa. This one is Discreet, apostrophe, on Discreet Records. So... It's going to take me a long time to go through all these records, clean them all up, decide what I want to keep and what I want to uh, trade off. But um, like I said, you don't need to spend more than $5 to get a good record collection. Just got to put it out there and things come back to you. Alrighty, that's all for today. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I'll keep updating as I clean these up and see what I got. Until next time, remember, keep digging and keep spinning. Peace.